What's going on guys, Bob's the Critic here. Just got home from the opera and I'm now here snacking on some chocolate covered honeycomb. The finest import from Greece. Now, you guys can probably see the subject of our video, this specimen here. Now, this specific specimen decided to come back to YouTube, which by the way, he was false flagged off of YouTube, which I don't condone. I hate false flagging, but he comes back and he makes a video trying to settle his beef with me. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, this is Samuel Tagik, our specimen for today. Samuel, I don't have a beef with you. I don't. I don't beef with people that have lower intellectual calibers than I. Sam, you weren't very smart. Your content in your videos reflected what people thought of you. For example, Sam, you on YouTube for nearly three years, you only mustered 7,000 subs. You got partnership and lost it. You averaged about 1,000 to 2,000 views per video you uploaded. And you had over 1,300 videos. Then look at me. I've only made around 120 videos tops. I know all my videos got taken down before, and I didn't re-upload all of them. So I have 70 now, for those who didn't know I got hacked before and all my videos were taken down. But I've only made tops, 120 videos here on YouTube. In the two years that I've been on here, two years and about a month, I average about 15,000 views per video I upload. And I have 20,000 subs. What did I say about your content versus my content? People sub me because they see that I'm an intellectual. I explain things thoroughly and people can understand what I'm saying. You on the other hand, Sam, your videos showed no depth. They had no substance, which is why you crawled to 7,000 subs in more than two years that you've been there, nearly three, whatever. Anyway, Sam, let's go ahead and start with this video response. Now, first of Sam, let me try to help you out before I say anything. Your shirt looks like one of these. One of those casual collared shirts made of cotton, okay? These collars aren't made to fold over ties, which is why they don't fold over all the way on your neck. It's either that your neck is too big or because it's not made to fold over a tie. Simple class, Sam. Anyway, and by the way, people, this video he made, to me, it just screamed that he was jealous of every single thing I do on YouTube. That's what it sounded like. And I know how Simon Geek operates. He makes a video, if you don't respond, he calls it a win. If you do respond, he calls it a win. But when you absolutely own him, he makes a video, oh, I totally trolled him. I got the response I wanted. That's because Simon the Geek is not that bright. He did that with Oppressador, he did that with Shokyo, and he even did it with the Truth Send You Free. So let's start the video, Sam. All right, let's start off with uh, the biggest idiot. Blockbuster Critic. Hello. Hey, Sam. Now, Blockbuster Critic is the mo one of the most pathetic people I've ever seen. I, I just couldn't believe the lengths he went to to try to get me. <laughs> What length, Sam? Now, Blockbuster Critic not only ins inserted tons of 4chan memes acting like he had his own little personal army. 4chan memes, memes, whatever you call them. I have no clue what Sam is talking about. I don't know any 4chan memes. I don't roam 4chan. You know, the only... The only things I really know about 4chan is that they get some really good lols from people and they troll the heck out of the Xbox Republic 
and they had two failed raids on my YouTube channel. I mean, seriously, if 4chan raids a channel, and I only have about 50 people blocked on my channel, that's a fail. That is a failed raid. Anyway. But, uh, he also went and he decided that it was a great idea to, uh, go on Ustream spouting all kinds of shit about me and telling his little, little, you know. For the record, Sam, I don't go on Ustream talking about you. People ask me about you. The little followers, the little 12 year old kids who dis, who think that, you know. You hear that, fans? That You're all 12 year old kids. Stuff, the 10 year olds that he bashed aren't cool. He told them to go tell me to respond to him. So, Sam, you said I went to great lengths to get you to respond, and here you say all I did was when I was on Ustream, I told my fans to go tell you to respond to me. And the response I was looking for, Sam, was that video I made in May about you. It wasn't about you. It was one of my Let's Talk videos. Uh, I'll put a link for those who haven't seen it. But you guys know that situation between Sam and P-Bone and when I made that video on it? Yeah, that. May. That was around like May 1st or May 2nd. And he hasn't responded yet. Smells like fear to me. And I acted like I was afraid to respond to him. You see, no response since May. Targets very controversial characters as myself. And uh, he attacks them so that his popularity will gain and that he will be able to have more AdSense. And with that AdSense, he will be able to promote his videos. Yeah, you see, Blackbuster uses his AdSense money as a way to promote his videos by using it to use the promote YouTube video button. Sam, anyone that watches my videos knows I just don't attack random people. I attack faggots. Sonic fags, Barney fags, Thomas fags. You know, people that want to have sex but Sonic the Hedgehog, Amy the Hedgehog, even Tails. People that are in love with Thomas the Tank Engine characters. Yes, there are people that are in love with a train. And 16, 17, 18 year olds that still watch Barney. And one of those Barney fans had the audacity to go to other Sonic fags and other Thomas fags, even other Barney fags, and talk smack to them when he watches Barney. Those are the kind of fags I attack. As you know, and people like Sooner the Hedgehog and Scenic09, you know, Orca464, Mr360Beast, people that have done stupid stuff, Sam. Now, don't take that and say, oh, well, you haven't done anything stupid in my eyes. I consider you to be very stupid and very unintelligent, Sam. But I just never thought to really waste any time on you. I didn't think you were worth it. You know, MLD, I respect him a lot more than you. And it, when I do make a response to MLD, you know, I'll be respectful. Because MLD is a cool guy. And unlike you, Sam, who you admit, you admit to being, and I quote, an asshole to people. So you're just not a very likable person in general, not even in real life, Sam. That's why I'm making this video now. Because I generally don't really like you that much, and there aren't that many people at all in this world that I can actually say that about. Except for my brother. This allows him to uh, fly up the charts on video views. Oh yeah, and about the AdSense, Sam, don't be jealous. Now, you yourself did the exact same thing that you are criticizing me for. You made responses to people. That's what I do as well, Sam. You're guilty as charged, my friend. But Sam, you're probably jealous because you used to have partnership, but you lost it. And even when you did have partnership, you didn't make any money. See, Sam, on YouTube, it takes at least 200,000 views and about 700 ad clicks. Views is just like when the ad is being displayed and you know ad click is when you click the ad. But those together, those was what I averaged between a week and two weeks. And that right there gets me about $150 to 140. The rates go up and down all the time. You're just jealous, Sam. 
It's okay to be jealous. You just shouldn't be so green in your videos. You're ultimately getting him more money and ultimately just getting him to a higher degree on the YouTube scale. The promote YouTube button is a button everybody has. And why the heck would I pay YouTube to promote my videos when they get featured already because I'm a partner? Why the heck would I do that? Sam, unlike you, my videos get spread all over the internet, Sam. My videos, like my gaming ones, for example, they get put on GameSpot forums, Game Trailers forums, VG Charts, The Escapist Magazine, N4G, tons and tons of gaming sites. Even some of my movie reviews end up on movie websites. My Charles Hamilton videos were on AllHipHop.com. And my Cat Williams review was on a forum that was exclusive for black women to talk about their sexual experiences. Yeah. I went there to see what the heck they were saying about my video, but when I registered to go look, it was in a private sub forum. And I couldn't see. It's kind of weird. I'm at a much higher caliber than you, Sam. And, you know, whatever. Like, if that's what you want to do, do it. But really, you're gonna, you're not gonna try to entertain people with, I don't know, original content. Who's the one that's been on YouTube for nearly three years, could only muster about 7,000 subs, and only average about 1,000 to 2,000 views per video you uploaded? That's a lack of original content, Sam. Not me. Original content is what gets you partnership. You're going to be like one of these millions of people on YouTube who uh, attack big people so that they can get views. That's what you're going to do. Or not even just big people, just controversial people. I'm not big. I'm a, I'm a little guy. I'm just, what? I had 7,000 subs. I've already covered this. Big fucking deal. Three million views, big fucking deal. That's not a lot. But he attacked me because I have tons of haters. Sam is talking about the four minutes I spent on him in my video. I had one video talking about Samuel to Geek. Four minutes of it was Samuel to Geek. None of it was for any other reason but because he was butthurt about P-Bone and P-Bone's girlfriend's little joke that Samuel can't get a girlfriend. And I explained in that video why Sam is so butthurt about that kind of joke. He, Samuel to Geek and his little friend HD Shadow, who, which by the way, wanted to get me on Skype, but was too chicken to go on there when I waited for him for like 45 minutes because he wanted to drag P-Bone in there because P-Bone was supposed to do something like damage control against me or something. I don't know. But he's talking about four minutes. A four minute attack on his character, which was at the time not to the standard of a gentleman. For no particular reason, maybe because of my attitude, or because of, you know, attitude. my console preference. Not the console because, preference. because, you know, they think I work for a multi-millionaire company, which is why I put on the suit in the first place. The reason I started doing the suit is because people started thinking I was a suit, and that I was, you know, part of Microsoft and part of these big corporations. But the fact is, is that I'm not as blind and as stupid and easily as fooled as they are. And so I started putting on a suit, and actually I got more speculation that I worked for Microsoft because I started wearing a suit in videos. That's what I found funny. Why would anyone speculate that you work for any corporation? You look like King K. Rule in a suit. Okay, you look like a freaking joke. It's the Mighty Joe Young movie. Samuel Tagik in a suit. Seriously, anyone that speculated that he worked for any corporation needs to get their head checked. Well, I find funny the weakness that symbolism puts in people's minds. I can start, you know, I can start putting all kinds of different symbols in the background of my videos or something, and people start assuming shit about me. The fact is, is that most of this crap means nothing. A suit means nothing. It doesn't mean anything. It's just a piece of article of clothing. And... But, they, but people like Blackbuster Critic know these kind of issues, so he associates himself with different logos and stuff 
to try to gain people's popularity. What are you talking about, Sam? What logos are you talking about? Logos on my suit? What, do I got a Dr. Pepper patch on here? Or are you talking about that thumbnail I have with Steam's logo? When the video is actually all about Steam. I have no clue what you're talking about. Are you talking about logos or anything? I don't know. I guess the stuff in my background, you see all the PS3, the Namco, Bandai, and the 360, and the Wii stuff. I don't know what you're talking about, Sam. I really don't. That point you made made no sense. But the suit keeps it classy. You look good in it. Well, I'm not talking about you specifically, but people who wear suits, you know. You like to look sharp. Classy. Whatever. That's, that's what you want to do. Go ahead and do it. But the fact is, is that it's simply pathetic. And it's, it's funny that the guy moving, you know, video games and hentai posters is telling me that I can't get a girlfriend. Whatever. Felicia, that poster right there, Felicia, hentai poster. Are you okay, Sam? Felicia has been the same way since 1994 when The Night Warriors was first released in the arcades. And I think in 1999 it was released on the PS1. Felicia, I don't understand how you don't know that character. She was in Darkstalkers, they even have a uh, movie. This is the UMD version on the PSP. Felicia's been in SNK vs. Capcom. She's been in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. She's in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. She was in Puzzle Fighter, Namco Times Capcom. She's been in a ton of games. I don't understand how you've missed her. She's one of Capcom's most, you know, loved characters. Because she's adorable. I don't understand it. But... Hentai poster? I think what you probably need to do if you really believe that's hentai is alert Disney that they have their characters, Marvel, associated with a hentai character like Felicia, who is naturally nude. It's like exotic underwear, I guess. I don't know. But, you know, Felicia, Morgan, Dimitri, BB Hood, Anarchus, all those characters should ring a bell if you've been in gaming for a while. Like, you, 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 this is the pot calling the kettle black. Oh, yeah. The girlfriend thing. The pot calling the kettle black. Sam, look at me. Okay. I'm handsome. I'm cute. I have charisma. I'm funny. That's a lot of things that women find attractive. And if you've seen in my previous videos, like my Star Trek review, you'll see a beautiful Latina. And uh, this video was one of my update videos. Let me t let me t tell me what you think about this, Sam. I might make a, I might make a new one because uh, so many people got my gamer tag. <laughs> what? Nothing. What? <laughs> yeah. BBC has no problem attracting women. The grum with now, man, a woman, I should say, spectacular. I have never met a woman like this before. Her name is Samantha. Oh, man. She's beautiful, she's smart, she loves animals just like me, she likes anime, has her own Steam account, and, you know, she was on the Howard Stern show once before. I have quite the woman that I would call a soulmate. But I don't know if you ever experienced that, Sam, because you're pretty negative about yourself and about the whole outlook on happiness and self-esteem and self-confidence in general. Anyway... That's, that's just simply what it is. I, I don't, 
understand how people can take him so seriously when he has a picture of a half-naked anime chick on the back, in the back of his video. And that's just how it is. Half-naked you know, is not to hentai. And, you know, criticize me. And what I find odd is that you're, you are so, so overprotective over your looks. And that's the thing. If one little person says a derogatory word to, towards your race, your hair, or anything, you flip the fuck out. I've seen it. I've seen it. Racist. Racist. The simple fact is, is that you're insecure about the way you look. It's official. Samantha Geek cannot make a valid argument. Ever. That's probably why he only mustered 7,000 subs. Look, Sam. It's called personal hygiene. I brush my hair. I get my hair cut. I wash my face. Let me give you a little tip, Sam. Let me help you out. It is called Neutrogena Acne Stress Control Power Cream Wash. It's phenomenal, Sam. You need to try it out. Look at this picture, Sam. You should be concerned with the way you look. You say I fly off the handle when people talk about me? Like this comment here? When I totally flipped out? Sam, the one thing you have to understand is that anyone watching this video, that, you know, they watch all my other videos, they know nothing bothers me. Especially racist comments or comments about the way I look. Sure, I like to look presentable on camera, but that's because you have a standard to adhere to as a man. At least look decent on camera. And by the way, Sam, along with the power wash, you should get the uh, triple action toner and the Rapid Clear Acne Defense Lotion. It works wonders. Try it. Your face won't look like the pavement if you at least give it a shot. That's pretty fucking funny for someone who is so confident in his abilities. But I am you know, confident. If you're so insecure, you know, because of your fucked up teeth, and you know, that, that that's 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 you, that's you. But if, in the end, looks don't fucking matter, and that's the truth. Oh well. Coming from the grubby slob. That is on my screen right now. So, uh, let's attack the next person. <laughs> uh, I guess Why that's it. Let me skip. It's not true. If you made a serious response in the old days, what is nowadays is some have this fucking ego boost that's that's big, people seem to get after they reach a thousand subs. I don't know what the problem is. It's YouTube, man. It's just fucking YouTube. You guys yeah. need to grow the fuck up, all three of you. Jesus Christ, I just cannot believe the immaturity, especially out of Blackbuster Critic. Oh, I mean, out of me. you are supposed to set an example for most of these kids. And a, I look like a great B, example. B, I act over, like a great example. And C, P-Bone tried to fucking tell you not to do it. He, not, he, he didn't even tell you not to do it. He told you not to do it, and he said his girlfriend didn't want you to do it, and you put it up anyway. So yeah. Samuel to Geek, that is a lie. When I gave you that four minutes in my video, people didn't say anything about it. We were PMing back and forth about it. I told them I was going to do it. If P-Bone said not to do it, I wouldn't have done it. Let me just tell you something, Samuel to Geek. I had a Skype chat with some Thomas fags, three of them. And a woman that was like a bleeding heart for people who are autistic, which is mostly, you know, the Thomas fans today. I had a Skype chat with 40 minutes of them. With them, I should say. And you know what they asked me? Not to upload it to YouTube. And guess what I did? I didn't do it. So if P-Bone really asked me not to do it, everybody knows I wouldn't have. Me and P-Bone are cool. I wouldn't do anything he wouldn't want me to do. 
Come on, Sam. There's no need to lie about something. Well, for you, there is a need because you don't have any solid ground to really bash anybody. And I feel bad for you, Sam. So just stay over there on Viddler because here, no one's really going to miss you. Except for maybe Inu Boy because he seemed to like you a lot. And maybe Review Guru Channel, who I don't really have a problem with. But he suffers from the same problems that you suffer from. Blockbuster, and you know you can make a. And the reason you didn't make a response to Peebo is because he knew you, it was a waste of your time, and you already gave him free advertising anyway. Maybe response to Peebo. What are you talking about? I, I really could give a shit. I talked to people on Skype that had zero subscribers. I don't care. It doesn't matter in the long. What run. does this have to do with anything? In the long run, we're all people. We're all people with video cameras. Get the fuck over yourself. Ah, <sighs> Sam to Geek. I'm so sorry, my friend, but you have been owned in every single way. That video was trash, as everyone that's watched this video can clearly see. Stay on Viddler. Because there's no one that wants to interact with you here. Because you're not smart enough to contribute anything to a real debate. I mean, just look at your video now, Sam, that you just put up. There was nothing really... Nothing that had any substance to anything that you can criticize me about. All you did was lie about stuff and talk about stuff that doesn't matter. Goodbye, Samuel to Geek. Goodbye. Rest in peace. My friend, I just hope you find success over there on Viddler. But please, by all means, if you feel the need to come and do a response, do it. Bye.